What would 100 shares of realty income look like? A dividend investing strategy. I realized I have a shopping addiction. And no, it's not that I support the Kardashians. Let me explain. Whenever I am bored or feel like procrastinating on my work, I am on eBay looking for stuff I don't even need. Please tell me why I just spent 20 minutes looking at rare Casio G-Shock watches. Other times, it's Amazon. And I'm adding materialistic items to my wish list like I'm a young 20-year-old female that is famous on OnlyFans fans. So instead of buying that new golf club set or wristwatch, what would happen if I were to buy Realty Income Corporation instead? In lieu of spending money on stuff that won't matter in a year or two, if I were to invest that money into a popular dividend stock? Let's figure that out together. What does Realty Income look like today? Well, they're currently trading for about $57 a share, the dividend yield is 5%, annual dividend payout is about $3, and the dividend growth rate is sitting at 3%. And did I mention that it's a monthly paying dividend REIT? How much would this cost? For 100 shares of Realty Income Corporation, your initial upfront cost is going to be $5,792. And I know that sounds pretty heavy, but remember the dividend yield is 5.28% and they pay out on a monthly basis. So for the price of 100 shares of Realty Income Corporation, that's going to be about the same as buying a brand new MacBook Pro with the M3 chipset. That that's fully decked out. And you are absolutely correct. 5,700 is not small money. It's actually a lot. For some of us, it's our monthly wages. And for others, it could be our end of the year bonus. And for you, it could be the cash that you have been holding on to and sitting on the sidelines with. Which by the way, if you did that in 2023, because of all the YouTubers spreading fear about the recession, you missed out on a lot of gains. And I am sorry if this is you, but that's why I don't watch or support sensation YouTubers who get views by spreading fear and doom. Unfortunately, the same way I don't entertain the fourth quarter when my Seattle Seahawks are losing by five touchdowns. I would rather take a cold shower or pound my head against the wall or stub my toe against furniture. That sounds a lot more fun to me. So let's talk about our assumptions that we are going to plug into our calculations and how that's going to affect the forecast. So we are going to predict that the stock will have a 4% annual stock appreciation rate, a 3% average dividend growth rate, which we saw earlier, and the dividends will be reinvested into the portfolio in order to buy more shares of Realty Income Corporation, which by the way, the dividends are distributed monthly, which means you will use that money monthly to buy more shares. What happens after 20 years? On the first year, you're going to get $331 as your dividend payout. However, as you fast forward throughout the years with a 3% dividend growth rate, and by using those dividends to buy more shares, your dividend payout will increase and buy by year 20, your annual dividend payout will be $1,400. So from start to finish, that's a 454% return. Year over year, you're looking at roughly a 9% return. And in the span of 20 years, your total dividend payout will be $14,000 from that initial $5,700 investment. If we are going to be honest with one another, at first, the dividend payout is barely enough to pay for your car insurance premium. Which by the way, did everyone else's rates go up by an absurd amount of money, it might be time to shop around for a new provider. Just saying, even with your career, it's always healthy to test the waters every so often to see your market value. Because even though your job seems secure now, you could be the unlucky one when the company decides to trim the fat and let go of employees. This can happen at any time. The only time it isn't wise to shop around is if you are married. You better be loyal to your partner. Who else can put up with your loud snoring at night, your small ding dong, and your political opinions? Only your partner can tolerate that. So respect them, love them, cherish them, and get them a gift card to Bath & Body Works for Valentine's Day. All I'm trying to say is the scented hand soaps are actually amazing. When it comes to Bath & Body Works, I would never touch their stock, but their hand soaps, yes, please. Portfolio valuation. So at the end of year one, with your 100 shares of Realty Income Corporation and reinvesting those dividends, its valuation is going to be $6,300, roughly. And by year 10, it doubles to $13,000. And by the end of year 15, we're looking at $21,000. And by the end of year 20, you're looking at $32,000. This right here is an example of the power of dividends compounding. Or in other words, the snowball effect. I feel like when we were younger, we loved when it snowed because it meant that we didn't have to go to school that day and we could play. However, as an adult, it chaps my butt because I have to wake up 45 minutes earlier to shovel 
hold a driveway, and then how everyone on the road drives extra slow because of a few snowflakes. And no, I'm not talking about that Trump rally. Uh-oh, I'm kidding. Please don't get mad. Just trying to be funny here. Let's talk more about some numbers before you leave me a hate comment. So what happens after 20 years? Well, in the beginning, initially, we had 100 shares. And by the end of this 20-year experiment, you're going to be looking at 253 shares. The dividend yield in the beginning is 5.28%. And at the end of 20 years, the dividend yield is 4.47%. And that's explained because the share appreciation rate outpaced the dividend growth rate. Remember, the price of the shares grew by 4% year over year, whereas the dividend growth rate Rate grew at 3%. The stock price right now is $57.92 per share. In this hypothetical situation, in 20 years, Realty Income Corporation should be $126.91 per share. You are not my therapist, but I want to be honest with you. I was never interested in Realty Income Corporation until last year because it seemed like everyone in the dividend community was just talking nonstop about Realty Income Corporation and the monthly dividend. And so naturally, I became curious about the hype surrounding the company. So I finally decided to do my research and lo and behold, it's actually a solid monthly paying REIT company. And if you're interested, it actually made a full in-depth analysis video about Realty Income Corporation. You should check it out. All I'm trying to say is if I could buy more shares, I would. If you like this type of content, please do go ahead and subscribe because I will make more videos like it. Anyways, Dividend Compounders with Cheese, signing off. Stay safe, everyone.